far as I've been able to get on my 7.3 power stroke. So 95, by the way. So here's the thing I'm looking at, right? Yeah, we're a little bit upside down, but it's okay. And let's focus on that. Okay, so there's a connector, right? That's where the 50 cent mod is supposed to go. And fingers are right there. Okay. The quarter is apparently supposed to go underneath this this little piece right here, correct? Yeah, I got a little bit of junk in there because I wasn't able to fully get the cover off because of that the air box over there. Anyway, the reason I went into the, this whole thing in the first place is because my connector here was wet. Had a bunch of oil. Sorry for the hand shot. Connector here is wet. And there's a bunch of just straight oil on it, right? Now, it could be keeping the contacts lubed up. But something, just to, something about that just don't sit right with me. Doesn't seem like it should be doing that. Oh, good lord. So maybe if I put some, I don't know, I take this clip off right here and seal it up with some RTV. I know that's pretty hillbilly, but I ain't no problem with hillbillies. They're pretty cool. But I'm just saying. I can't say my, my other usual term. Not said in polite company. Uh, jury rigging. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So here's that the air box. The reason I can't get it out because there's not enough clearance right there. Oh, I mean, it looks pretty clean. I kind of wonder if they've ever even been into this thing. Very clean. See, that's what happens when you have a regularly maintenance vehicle. Stays clean. It's nice. And probably somebody's gonna say that I should have taken the alternator off. I mean, maybe it'd slide out. Maybe it slide out that way. But right now, I have no clearance back there at all. I mean, it's just just short of clearing. I wouldn't do it. Anyway. 